I need to start writing down my main point because sometimes I jump to another subject and I forget what I was speaking about. <laughs> my Lord. There is this particular woman that I used to message. And at first, she would tell me that she wants to make more money and stuff like that. And pretty much she was saying that her life would be better if she would make more money. Money is just going to make your issues much more apparent. Money is not your issue. It is you. For instance, myself. When I was in sin, I would work overtime. I would do other things to make money. And no matter how much money I would make from overtime and stuff like that, I always felt like I could go broke at any time. And I hated that feeling. I had no peace. No matter how much money I had, no much no matter how much money I saved, it felt like I could go broke at any time, like as if I could go broke and get put out on the street and lose everything. It felt like I could lose everything so I would work harder and harder. Just a waste. Don't work. Don't work overtime. Don't work two or three jobs and don't have time for yourself to rest and have peace of mind. This one time I bought so much stuff, things that I thought that I wanted. I only used perhaps 10% of what I bought. A bunch of junk. What is the point of working? A bunch of junk. A ton of junk. It is a waste. Buying the Jordans and and uh, tablets and all junk, man. You wasting your time at work. Listen, anyways, let me get back to my point. So this woman was saying that her life would be better if she was rich. Then I was saying to her, no, the problem is you. It is not money. Because if you were to get money, you would have more problems. So you need to deal with yourself. It is your character. When you choose to not serve God, curses are going to be placed on you. No matter how many friends you receive, no matter how many how much money that you get, you are cursed. There are rich, cursed people. What good is your money when you are cursed? Well, Kevin, if I was rich, I wouldn't mind being cursed. What is the point? How can you enjoy your money if you are always sick? How can you enjoy your money when you have no peace? How can you enjoy your money when you don't have 
godly attributes within yourself to enjoy whatever you have. Appreciation is a godly trait. So when you don't have God, how can you appreciate anything? How can you truly appreciate something when you don't have that godly trait within you to be able to appreciate? Money is not your problem. If you were to get rich, your character traits will be much more apparent. So the more money you make or the more earthly things you receive, it is not, it is not going to fulfill you. It is not. People believe, let me go on this other route here. Some people believe that getting married is going to make them happy. Or yes, instead of placing God in front of their life, they place things. So I don't want to serve God, but I want to be happy, so let me get married. So they get married. <laughs> it is not funny, but within months, they find out I am still not happy. Some people believe having sex or dating many others is going to make them happy. So they date this new woman or this new man and have a relationship with them or whatever and find out that they aren't happy so they continue to go to woman to woman to woman to man and to man to man trying to find happiness but only in God you can only find happiness but you are trying to find happiness outside of God into things you are trying to replace God with something else it doesn't work money is not your issue it is you it is you you can have all the money in the world and I guarantee you you will still be the same way it is you. You can't replace God with something and believe that you can receive godly traits without God. So you continue to make the same mistakes over and over and over and over again. How many men are you going to have sex with or date? How many women are you going to mess around with or date? How much money are you going to make? It is not going to give you peace. It is not going to give you happiness. Trying to find happiness in sinful things, you are not going to find it. It is not meant to find happiness in sinful things. It is not. But how long are you going to continue doing the same things, making the same mistakes? How old are you now? And how long have you been doing this and you still have not learned? Kevin, I am not happy. I could have told you that. You marry someone, then you get a divorce. You marry someone, then you get a divorce. All these men are bad. All these women are bad. It is you. It is you. What is the chances of you only meeting all bad men? What is the chance of you meeting all bad women? It is you. 
It is something within yourself. I pray that this makes sense. Money is not your issue. It is you. You have to change yourself. Actually ask God to help you change. Because no matter what you gain in life, what you get in life, you are still going to have those issues. And the more money you make, the more apparent those issues are going to become. So change yourself. God bless.